everybody so it's uh, faith here it's been a while since I've done a video um, I know I'd promised to keep them up on a monthly basis uh, regarding my surgery that I had my MVD or microvascular decompression surgery at UPMC in Pittsburgh in April of 2018 so uh, sorry it's been a while there was a lot of crap happening in my life and uh, just wasn't in the mood to do any videos and then I had a chiropractic adjustment <laughs> that I think kind of set me back a little bit. It happened before I knew it. We had been holding off on doing um, any neck related adjustments and I, uh, we just, I just wasn't paying any attention and we got to the neck and it happened and I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll see how that goes. I think that was probably about three, three and a half months post-surgery that, um, that we wound up doing that. And I think it, it actually affected things. I, I wound up, my spasm had, had kicked in a little bit more than it seemed like it had been doing for a while. And, um, and so I wanted it to calm down again, see if it was going to calm down again uh, before I started doing another video. And here we are. So I am currently, I think, what, a little bit, about five and a half months um, post-surgery. It is uh, close to mid-October. <laughs> I am... It's, I think, October 11th today, and my surgery was April 24th, uh, again, of 2018. So those of you who are here, you probably have seen my other videos already. Um, this is, uh, what, it's like a little diary that I'm doing to show people the development and the change in my face, the change in the movement of um, my spasm since I had my microvascular decompression surgery um, with Dr. Sakula. And... Uh, I'm, I'm feeling still continued improvement at this stage. Um, I am avoiding any more chiropractic adjustments. I honestly don't know that I'll go back to having that done unless something happens with my neck, um, if there's any need for it. I, I haven't been feeling any, um, any tightness or need or, or anything along those lines when it comes to my neck. And in fact, that's one of the developments, uh, probably since my last video. Um, <clears throat> the scar is much better. Um, I don't, let's see if I can show it. I have an undercut, so we'll see if this shows it very well. It was, um, it's right here, and I, I've heard that it's, it's very hard for people to see. Um, hopefully the, the sound isn't too off on this. <laughs> anyway, that, that gave you guys a good idea of seeing it. Um, and what I did was, I have a, another doctor, a nutritionist, who gave me some wheat germ oil. Uh, they're little caplets, cap, capsules, whatever. Kind of, they kind of look like a vitamin D capsule, um, but a little bit bigger, um, or vitamin, I think vitamin E also comes in little capsules like that. I don't take vitamin E, but I do take vitamin D anyway. Um, so I was just poking it with a needle, um, a sterile needle and, and using a little bit of it at night, just popping it on there. I know some people use uh, coconut oil, um, for theirs. I, I don't know, unless your doctor recommends it, I wouldn't put like Neosporin or, um, uh, any kind of antibiotic ointment on, the the wound itself again use your your doctor's judgment on that um dr sakula didn't require or request that i put anything on mine uh for it to heal um he said just to keep it clean and and dry <clears throat> and the healing began it was raised for a while and there were some some bumpy parts to it um that felt maybe like like st internal stitches that were kind of doing their thing in there um whether they dissolve or or whatever it is that they need to do um, that has completely resolved at this point in time. I don't feel anything bumpy. There's nothing uncomfortable. There's nothing, um, it was feeling like there were some that kind of felt zit-like almost. Um, I, as you can tell, am very well versed with, <laughs> with what zits feel like. Uh, but anyway, so, um, the wheat germ oil, I used it for a couple of weeks and it was miraculous. The, the change in the, the texture of the, of the, um, scar and the noticeability of it uh, really came far very quickly. So just recommending that. I thought it was really weird. Um, and maybe it's good for other stuff too. I, I actually tried using it for some of my acne that's happened on my forehead too. It was not as successful that for that. <laughs> so, but for scars, hey, weed germ oil. Uh, who knew? Um, so anyway, that worked out well. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I feel like the, the movement of my face, like I said, has, has gotten a lot better. My spasm has gotten better. Uh, some of the stress, stressful stuff that I was going through, um, in, in the last, let's see, what was it like late August, 
uh, through September, um, I was I was noticing a lot more uh, movement when I was feeling tired and stressed. Um, and so that's, it's very clear that that's something that causes my spasm to react. I don't know why. I don't know what the, the connection is there. Uh, when it comes to the body, I, who knows what's going on with the blood vessels and the, the way they work and do their thing. But um, anyway, so, um, but as you can see, things are, are much more still than they used to be. Um, I think there is still some, uh, some latent, my, my spasms on the left side, as you probably have already noticed. Um, I, I think there still is some, some change that needs to happen. I still feel like there is a fair amount of droop um, that's occurring on this side of my face. The nostrils, two nostrils are not symmetric, um, symmetrical. I'm not sure what the pro proper grammar is there when it comes to that. Um, but I feel like my smile is becoming more even. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is this is how things are going for me. And uh, again, I think that I've seen with some other people post-surgery uh, within those few months um, after it's happened, we, we all notice uh, that there are certain things that cause it to happen more than that happen, the spasm to reoccur. Uh, more than others and for me it's still pursing my lips so sometimes when I'm drinking from a straw um, or even just eating so taking a bite of food ooh, uh, putting my lips on it will cause the spasm to occur um, talking to people in high stress situations we are um, currently in a uh, high uh, high octane political season here um, in in 2018 uh, October and I'm very active in the political arena so I'm meeting a lot of uh, important people, people that, I, that I'm very impressed with and, and uh, want to impress <laughs> personally. And, uh, and that puts a lot of strain on it and, and the spasm tends to kick in a little bit. However, it's so much better than it used to be. And I feel like I don't have to make excuses for it anymore um, like, I, like I used to um, <clears throat> for a while there. Of course, pre-surgery um, and even a little bit post-surgery, I was still telling people, this is why I can't. I don't feel comfortable going and knocking on doors for candidates. I don't want to um, freak people out by knocking on the door and starting to talk to them and then having my face go off. Um, I'm feeling much more comfortable about possibly doing that now, even though we're so close to the actual election. Uh, I feel like I could go to go up to strangers and, and have it not be so much of a problem like it used to be. So we'll see. And I really need to get into that. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's a change. Um... But yeah, I think, the, you know, this video doesn't need to be too long. This is this is what my face is doing five months post-surgery. I'm still hoping that it's going to get even more still over time. Um, but the market improvement is noticeable from people, uh, family members that I haven't seen for a long period of time. And um, and they're commenting on it, which is great. So I, I feel like the surgery, as, as I've said before, was well worth the time, the expense, the cost. Um, the, uh, the time down that it, that it took from my life, which wasn't very long. Um, I was back to driving very quickly and, and back to working out relatively quickly. Um, the tiredness is completely gone at this stage. Um, I'm, I feel like the tiredness that I have is just normal, um, wear and tear on my body as a 44, almost 45 year old woman. So, um, so yeah, I, I think that I, I hit it at, at the right time in my life. I got really lucky that I was able to do it at this point. So if you have any questions, as always, please let me know. Um, and like I always end my videos for everybody, uh, just keep on fighting the, the good fight. Keep doing what you've got to do to get out there and, uh, and seeing people face to face. Um, try not to let this get you down. It's not like we asked for this condition. It's just something that happened to us and we shouldn't be ashamed of it. We shouldn't be embarrassed by it. Uh, we should do everything that we can to educate people and to uh, to keep getting out and um, and seeing seeing people and and interacting with folks and uh, doing what we need to do to soothe ourselves accordingly when we when we hit a rough spot. Um, I am a big advocate of therapy. My therapists have kept me in line when it comes to uh, any depression that comes along with this condition, uh, which is bound to happen. And, and, and that's another thing you should not be ashamed of. If you're feeling down, you know, do something to take care of yourself. Do what you got to do. All right. Um, but if, if nothing else, you know, come here and talk to me. Feel free to leave a comment on any one of my videos. Um, I, I have not been great about it in the last couple of months. Uh, getting back to people, I, I know it took me a couple of weeks on the last few comments that were left. And I apologize for that. But I'll, I'll try to do better. Things are getting better uh, for me personally. And, 
Uh, hopefully things will just continue to improve from here on out. All right, so hopefully I'll see you next month. I'll try to do better about doing another monthly video. If not, you know, maybe a couple of months from now. And, uh, and we'll just see if this keeps improving. All right, take care, everybody. See ya.